Okay, hello there viewers. So let's try and continue with our how to sketch a graph series. And for this time, we are going to have a look on lawn. I have to admit that lawn graph is the most complicated graph. Okay, so let's continue it very slowly. And if you have any questions, just drop your comments below and I try to answer them for you. Okay, so what happens if you input the numbers? Okay, as you can see here, when lawn is negative, when I got uh, x is negative, my values is zero error. You can see here, lawn is zero, it's error as well. You can try it by yourself if you don't trust me. Lawn negative five, error, lawn zero, error. Okay? So, and there's a slight twist as well. There's a point over there between zero until one, zero point something. And it gives me a negative values. And lawn is one, I get zero, lawn two, then only I start to get a positive values. But as you can see the trend here, lawn 3, lawn 10, and lawn 100, it rise very slowly. It doesn't increase that much. So the graph looks something like this. Okay, as you can see, there's no negative side here because error. So that's why the range, the, the domain is only 0 until infinity, the right side. And since 0 is error, so that's why I get an open bracket, not a closed bracket. And you can see the range, it starts, it can be a negative values and then until uh, positive values so the range is all in numbers there's a lot of information for you to digest <laughs> so this is what my cheat sheet will looks like okay so as you can see here lon negative give you error lon zero error and x asymptote you can see the asymptote asymptote x equals to zero lon zero until one is a negative values you can see over here Lon 1 equals to 0, lon 1 0, and lon positive numbers, positive, and it rises very slowly. How are you going to draw a lon graph? Uh, well, you need to calculate the inside. Where inside not equals to 0, the x will give you an asymptote. Where inside equals to 1, I get the x-intercept. Okay? So, x-intercept is here, and the asymptote is here. Yeah, you need to calculate this one. It's quite difficult, but still doable. So let's have a look at some of the examples. Okay, the techniques remain the same if you see something like this. So we're going to stick through for a while how I said just now, how to draw a long graph. So you need to check the inside. Okay, when inside is not equal to zero, when the inside is equal to one. Alright, so for x plus five and x negative five, so when we calculate the inside, inside not equal to zero, inside equals to one, I get myself x equal to negative five, x equals to negative four, and so it goes for over this side. And how we draw the graph? Well, let's review this one first. So the asymptote is negative 5 and this, the intersect is at negative 4. So it looks something like this. Asymptote is negative 5 and this one, the intersect is negative 4. Okay? And yes, you can calculate this value here where you can say here where x equals to 0. So when x equals to 0, I get myself on 5. So here is ln 5. Okay, now, so let's try this one here. We got our asymptote at x equals to 5 and the intersect is x equals to 6. So it looks something in this way. Okay? Still doable for you. And you can see the domain and the range. Uh, the domain is from negative 5 to infinity and the range is all real numbers. The domain begins in where the asymptote is and it goes to the right side. And for this one here, since the asymptote is 5, the domain begins at 5 as well. So it goes to the right. So this is what we call the shifting left hand side and the right side. And the range is R, all the numbers. Okay, as we have done for the exponential graph, I highly recommend you remember back how does the square root graph looks like, the set graph. When x is positive, it goes here. When x is negative inside, it lifts to the left. When negative outside, it flips down. When negative both, it goes to the fourth quadrant. Long graph, it looks very similar. Let me show you the overall picture. Yes, so this one, square root. If the positive square root x, it goes here. So the positive ln, it goes here. When the negative inside, it goes to the left. So the ln and negative inside, it goes to the left. And the negative outside, it flips down. So you can see here, negative ln x over there. And when there's a both, it goes to the left quadrant. It goes to the fourth quadrant. And they also share the same interesting fact that all of them has the asymptote x equals to zero. So as you can see the domain, all the zeros are open bracket. And the range, yeah, all of them are all real numbers because it reach from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? 
So a little bit more details for you to understand the concept a little bit more. I mentioned so lawn X normally looks like this when it's a negative inside, so it flips to the left side. All right, so the domain change negative infinity and negative infinity anti zero. So when there's a negative outside, so it flips down and the double negative. You can see here negative inside as well, so it flips to the left of this one here. Okay. Uh, I think I missed my asymptote. Well, you got the idea. There's an asymptote for both of them. So asymptote x equals to zero. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. So this is a final quiz for you. Try and do this one where there's a negative for both of them, the lawn inside and outside, and I minus five. Okay. Remember on how to solve them. You may pause the video for you to try and sketch and try to find the domain and range as well. Good luck. Okay, are you still here? So let's try and solve them. Okay, for my first step is firstly I draw the, con the beginning of a lawn X graph. So it goes here. Still easy. And then I add the negative on both sides, inside and outside. Oh, I forgot to mention I seem to S equals to zero. So add negative here. So it flips. Well, double negative. First, the negative in negative outside it flips down, and negative inside it flips to the left. Or maybe if you just memorize it, the double negative it goes there. Basically, yeah, I've done it for quite a while. I memorize it. Okay, and then only you do the negative five. Remember, if you want to do negative five, you need to calculate inside and outside. Where inside not equals to zero, and inside equals to one. For inside not equals to zero, I get myself x equals to negative five. When inside equals to one, I get myself x equals to negative six. What does this do? This one here is the asymptote, and this one here is the instant, uh, intersect, which will give me something like this. All right? So I miss here. So here is negative six. So your graph move to the left. Okay. So it's not that difficult for you to transpose from here to here. Alright, so the domain is negative infinity until negative 5 because it can never pass a negative 5 and the range is from positive infinity until negative infinity because, yeah, you know, long graph has all of them. Alright, so that's all. So thank you for watching and yeah, we're almost done of all. After this, I'm going to teach you how to draw the inverse graph. Yeah, and if you have any questions, I know long graph is very difficult. Please leave a comment down below and I'll, don't worry, I'll answer them. I won't ignore my views. <laughs> yeah, I know it's difficult. And I highly recommend that you actually memorize this one. So once you memorize this, it's easy for you to draw the graph. Long graph is new. It's not that difficult. You still can do it. Trust me. Okay? Thank you for watching. And please comment, share, like, and subscribe to the video. You may share this to your friends as well. Thank you. Bye.